I believe in Toya. Even if it means going against the entire world, I'm going to save him. But you can't. You're talking about a devil golem here. Maybe I can't, alone. But I have my friends with me. Friends? <laughs> you don't understand Toya's feelings at all, do you? What? And you do, I suppose? Toya is trying to fulfill his duty as a descendant of the ancients. Duty? Yes. Toya believes that the descendants of ancients have the obligation to improve life, to keep everyone happy, to protect the world. That includes protecting you. He is trying to get you to kill him. What? He's trying to make me kill him? Yes. To stop the Queen of Ice, you need only to destroy her magic core, Toya. And you, or that arm of yours, is the only thing that can do it. So, he's not being controlled at all? No, it has all been an act. Oh, Toya. You need to give some thought to what Toya wants. Stop being so selfish or I'll never forgive you. Are you going to dismiss Toya's sacrifice just like that? But if I use both the magic core and my arm, Toya doesn't have to die. You think simply defeating the Queen of Ice is enough? You have no idea what will happen if you use your arm. You have a duty too. A duty to kill Toya. You've come with your friends to fight. Good for you. Have you thought about Toya at all? Fighting alone all this time? Okay, just shut up. I'm not going to give up now. Look at you, selfish to the last. You want everything your way. But a promise is a promise. I'll give you the magic core. But I'm going to save Toya in my own way. Don't forget, it is what Toya wants. Farewell. Cool. I guess I'd better get back to the others. Toya, my sweet pet, just a little longer, just a little longer, and the child with the right arm will be here. Once he arrives, all the destruction, the suffering, the regrets, the slate will be wiped clean. Whoosh! <laughs> None of this ever happened. Don't you think that's wonderful? Queen, don't think for a minute that I'll let you have your way. Silence, Toya. Ah! Silence. Yes, my queen. You are nothing more than my puppet. Isn't that right? Yes, my queen. <laughs> Isn't this ironic, Toya? No matter how desperately you try, that stubborn child refuses to kill you. His arm remains pointed at me, not you. Oh, you silly boys. You dance for his amusement. That's all you do. Nothing but a clown. So, 
Dance some more. Come on. He's pretty brainless. Maybe he's making a snowman or something. Yuki, somehow I doubt that. You need to open your mind a little, Rygar. This is not Sumu we're talking about. Anything is possible. Yeah, anything. Ah. Hey, Atsuma, you're back. Yeah. You took care of your pressing business then? Pretty much. And? Just what did you have to do? I got the magic core. What? I got the Queen of Ice's magic core. You did? Asuma, you met with the handsome guy? Met with him. And beat him up, too. What? Hey, you better explain all this. Calm down, Yuki. Come on then, Atsuma. Fill us in. That's everything. Wow. So Toya, he wants to die. Wants you to kill him? Yeah. Here you are, trying so hard to save him. Back in, great. <sighs> but I can understand Toya's thinking, too. We have a way to save him now, though. There's no need for him to die. That's right. We're talking about a devil golem here. And using it Soma's arm is risky, but still, for the person we're trying to save, to give up before we even try. What if Atsuma uses his arm on the Queen of Ice and creates a further problem we're not equipped to handle? A further problem? Yes. The Sage told me a little about your arm. She said it was created by transferring the cells of a devil golem called Infinity. Infinity? The cells of a devil golem? That can't be a good idea. So what kind of problem could it create? I do not know. But the ascetic monk sensed the same kind of risk, I'm sure. So, what do we do? We can't plan for something if we have no idea what it is. We don't have to plan for anything. But Suma? Even if something bad does happen because of my arm, or even if it's going against Toya's wishes, I'm going to save him. Yuki. What? You remember what you said to me in London? If we just persevere, if we just keep moving forward, we can all become a little happier tomorrow than we are today. You said that, right? Yeah. Maybe what I'm trying to do is a mistake. But sitting around worrying about the result? I can't do that. So... Okay, Atsuma. I'm with you. Me too, me too! We've come this far. I'll see this to the end. Everyone, thank you. Atsuma, no need to look so emotional. Yes. Tomorrow is the final battle. We need to see some bravery, okay? Yeah. Then let's get some sleep. Come on, bedtime, bedtime. I can't settle down. I need to talk to someone. Okay, I'll go find Kareen. Kareen. Asuma, you're in a good mood. I feel lighter. I think. But you don't look so good, Kareen. Yeah, I think I'm a little... tense. What happens if we can't defeat the Queen of Ice? I could never face my father, or the people of London. I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, I'm not the one for shouldering the expectations of others. But if I die... Atsuma, you mustn't die. You can't. Why not? Because I haven't punched you yet. Right. Then, do you want to get it over with now? Now is not the time. Once the Queen of Ice has been defeated and we're back home, I'll punch you then. Once we're back, okay? Okay. That's all I wanted to hear. Say, Atsuma. What now? The way we met. All this. It has to be the worst possible way to meet someone. Yeah, the worst way I can think of. I've started to think recently. That maybe this way is better. A little more... dramatic. Dramatic? Yes. I mean, you have to face a few obstacles before... Obstacles? Before what? Well, what do you mean, what? Huh? Okay. Oh, tell me.
call you once we get back. Not now. I'm not ready to right now. Well... Okay, but when we get back, all right? I'm not going to forget, don't worry. So just what are these obstacles? I'll tell you when we get back, okay? Bah! I guess I'd better get some sleep. Time for bed, then. I need to be ready for tomorrow. Atsuma, do you have a moment? Huh? Come in. What's wrong? Do you want something? Well, actually, I've got something for you. Something for me? Here, take this. Thank you. You sure about this? Yes, I want you to have it. This is proof of the bond between you and me, Atsuma. Proof of our bond? Yes, I've changed my mind, Atsuma. About what? I said when we got back, but I'm going to tell you now. This thing that encounters obstacles. Love. Love? Yes. The worst possible meeting. You berserk and trying to kill me. I've watched you fooling around. And you really made me mad sometimes. I've wanted to punch you so often. But I like you, Atsuma. I mean... Yeah, I like you too, Green. <gasps> you do? Of course. I like Yuki and Rygar too. I like you more than an omelet curry burger. Hey, what's the sign for? Oh, nothing. At least I told you anyway. Good night, Elsa. Yeah, good night. Proof of the bond between us, huh? Okay, I'm all fired up now. Toya, I'm coming to save you. Did you all sleep well? Yep, I'm at 100%. I'm pleased to hear it. I have here the promised item. Please, take it. The key to the gate. Thank you, Village Elder. I shall pray for your safe return. You've helped us so much. Right then, to the gate.